So I don't do too many videos about paper, but I did want to briefly talk about this Leustrom 1917 notebook in the 120 gram paperweight. Uh, this is an upgrade from the classic notebook. It's uh, Their best seller is this style, but in an 80 gram. And they have come out with the sort of upgrade model, which is the 120 gram per square meter paper. Everything else is basically the same. There's, you know, same kind of faux leather cover, same grid, blank, uh, or, you know, dot grid, real grid, or blank, or lined paper. Same paper colors. You have a few different colors here on the uh, the notebook cover, but the uh, basically it's the same notebook you know and love, but with paper that is 120 grams, so 50% heavier. 80 grams is totally sufficient, and 120 grams gets you into like a luxury paperweight. It's uh, archival quality and acid-free and all that. There's the specs if you want to read up on it. This is the one in the uh, sage green color. And then you can see acid-free, all the other stuff, 203 pages. And all the features are the same. You can see it comes with some fun little notes in here. You have your front matter for writing your name down, your index pages. There's that really nice dot grid. This is a cream color paper. It's a little hard to tell online, but this is cream color. Really nice, thick paperweight. You could just feel and hear the pages go. Numbered pages, which is really nice for uh, just kind of journaling and staying organized. You have your little uh, ribbon for organization. I think it's actually, yeah, two ribbons for organization. Quite nice. Then you have some stickers, as you'd expect. They always come with these. A pocket in the back. And then your elastic closure band. Branding is very limited. You can see the logo right there, uh, but nothing on the front. So really, really clean. Nothing on the spine either. Really nice, really clean colors match here, which looks very professional and monotone. And the notebook is a little heavier and a little thicker than it would be. Obviously, it's the same number of sheets, but you are getting paper that's twice or 50% heavier. So it's a little bit heavier and thicker of a notebook. These ones do, uh, you know, they get a little bruised up. They take, uh, take some damage, but they hold up well overall. And that's one of the reasons these notebooks are so popular. The standard Leustrom is very nice and very fountain pen friendly. That is unchanged here. It's a nice smooth paper, not quite Rhodia smooth, which for me is too smooth, but I really like the texture of this. It's a nice mix of going, uh, you know, super smooth, like fountain pen only to having some feedback. So it's a really good middle ground for me. Uh, I tend to prefer kind of Midori cotton papers for day-to-day -day stuff, but I think this one is really nice. I put in a couple samples here just to see, and these are kind of everyday type pens, Sharpie S gel, roller balls, a uh, you know a couple of different fine liners, and the Poulamin, which is basically a fine liner, highlighter, ballpoint, air, some fountain pen at the bottom, and I'll maybe I'll do some follow up videos about uh, you know fountain pen friendly paper. This is definitely towards the top of the list. I don't think the 120 grams makes a giant difference. You know, obviously you have less show through and less bleed through as a result of the heavier paperweight, but 80 is typically sufficient for day to day. This is going to be for people that prefer kind of wetter writing pens, you know, like a 1.0 millimeter gel pen or maybe a really wet fountain pen. Those are problematic in a lot of journals anyway, since, you know, you close it, it could smear on the other side. There's nothing you could do about that except for moving to more absorbent paper. This paper is reasonably absorbent you know, more so than Rhodia, but uh, not super, super absorbent. The wettest of these pens is that Sharpie S gel at the top, and you could see, so we'll just line it up right here, right where my finger is, no problems at all. You know, you, can you see it? Sure, a little bit, but really, really very little show through there. Bleeding and other kind of problems and feathering were almost zero. This is a high-end paper and a really nice notebook. The Basically, the price will jump up from about 
maybe like, I think these go from $18, $19 up to about $25 to $27, something like that. So you're spending, you know, a little bit more, but it's more on top of an already somewhat expensive notebook. On the flip side, it's over 200 pages and it's a really nice leatherette type cover that will last you a long time. I really like these notebooks and I really do recommend them. I'm not as big of a Loistrom fan as some other people, but they're making some nice stuff and this 120 gram is a really cool upgrade. If you're going to buy a gift or something like that, you know, special occasion or something you're planning on journaling for a full year or, you know, as much of a year as you can get one of these, then it could be worth it to get to the, uh, the heavier paper. Otherwise, uh, you know, you're completely fine saving your money and getting a standard model, but I do like this one a lot. And it was really nice to see. So thanks for watching.